So, without further ado, uh, I'm going to switch over to here and I'll show you real quickly uh, the three applications that we have. Everybody see that okay, I think? Yeah. All right, so I'll try not to twist it too much. But this is a, uh, you know, AT&T 8800. It's got pre-release 4.5 on it, of course, and in, in the back it's running 415. I've got an Outlook email coming onto this device, and uh, you should all be, you know, obviously very familiar with the UI here. Here's our Docs Go application. And you've got three applications here on where to go for word processing slideshow for presentations and sheet to go for Excel spreadsheets. Now I'm not going to launch a file through actually launching the, the application first. I want to actually show you launching it through an email attachment to show you the integration with Bez. So if I come back out, here's my email. Okay, so one quick uh, explanation here is pre-Bez 415, when you have an attachment and you click on the menu, you'll see open attachment. And then when you open it, it uses attachment servers and you have that available to piecemeal download the, the file to the device and then you can view only, right? As of 415, RIM has added some additional capability in, addi in addition to integrating with docs to go When you have attachments that aren't downloaded yet, so here's some Excel spreadsheet, PowerPoint, Word documents. If I hit this menu now, You'll see, you'll see the traditional open attachment, but then you'll also see a download attachment. And all that does is it takes the file natively, downloads it to your device, you select the location you want to save it to, and you're good to go. Or, you can hit open, and now you see two options. You see a view option, what that does is it sends it to attachment service, like, like you're used to the old way. Or you could do edit in docs to go. Then downloads it natively to the device, opens it, use it in docs to go. Okay? So if I go back just to my other sample email here, I've got some of course already downloaded, so let me show you like a quick Word doc. So I'm going to open, and right away, of course, that passes the file to our application to be opened natively. And this is just, you know, a sample Acme business proposal file. I just want to show you some of the features that we can, uh, you know, help you help display. So first thing you'll see, of course, is embedded graphics. Uh, because this is BlackBerry, it also supports all the key cuts. So I can do, you know, space bar to navigate down. I can go T to do the top, B to go all the way to the bottom. So standard here, I can also, of course, quickly zoom in and zoom out the document. Uh, let me just go down and show you some of the other functionality. So here's a bullet list. So I'm just here. I'm going to make a quick edit to show you. So I'm going to edit mode. Hit return, and you see that it was uh, it reorganized my bullets for me. So I just type some quick text, and then go back into view mode so I can show you the rest of the document really quickly. So I made an edit in my bullet list. Uh, I should have a comment here. So if I have a comment, all I have to do is select it, hit it in. Here's my comment, and then I escape out. I can go on my file. So navigate down a little bit more. There's a text box over here that you support as well. And most importantly, one of the main things here is embedded table support. Uh, and this table here is um, shown to shown to me in a, in, our com in a compressed view, so it, so you can actually see and work with the table easily on the screen that you have. And I can of course go in and quickly edit the table if I wanted to. Okay, so that's that's the that's our Word to Go application. Now, I uh, I made the edit here. So again, going back to our in tab, when you make an edit, not only is that edit it reflected, but all the original document formatting. So if I have a watermark on here, that I had uh, all kinds of references to markup and track changes and all kinds of comments everywhere. If you're using like a con doing a contract, that would all get retained. So no one would ever know that you actually edited a file on a mobile device. It's as if you edited it on your laptop or your desktop computer. So that's the power of Intact technology. Uh, one other thing I want to show you, just to mention it, you'll see some items here that have, uh, sorry, some items that have a little star next to it. 
those are features in our premium edition that I mentioned that we're going to be launching next month. So things like spell checking, being able to create new files, being able to create new tables in a Word document, track changes, being able to accept and reject, advanced character and paragraph format, all those are premium features that you can upgrade to if you, uh, if you choose to. Uh, and I'll talk a little bit more about premium, the other premium features in just a little while. But I want to show you what the menu looks like and explain what those little stars kind of mean. Okay, so now I can, of course, do a save or a save as, and if I do a save as, I can elect to save onto a mobile, uh, media card, uh, device memory, or I can, because of the integration with Bez, I could do send via email, I need to save and send, and it'll quickly save it and attach it to a new email, and I send it off. Okay, so that's Word to go. Let me show you now. Now I'm going to get out of the email. I'll show you how to launch a file through the actual application. If I go to Docs Go now, I'll show you Sheet to Go really quick. So this is the main UI in our application. It's very simple. Uh, it should be very easy to use. You'll see just a couple of components. An open file where you can then get into a little browser, select your file and open it. And if you have our premium edition, you also see a create new file here as well. There's a recently used file list down here that keeps five of your last used files so you can access it really quickly without having to rebrowse the file. Uh, but if I uh, open, let's say, this Acme Sales, brings it again natively into sheet to go and here's the spreadsheet, again key cuts, and quickly zoom in and zoom back out. So let me go ahead and bring it a little larger here. So I have, uh, you know, like any other spreadsheet, if you have, you have comment, I can do view, freeze panes, or sell comment, here's my sell comment, and then uh, it, I can do go to sell by hitting G, I could do V for toggling between my multiple sheets, so here's the other sheet, the sales number sheet, and then if I go back to the original one. So again, lastly, I want to quickly make an edit to show you the recalc, recalculation. So if I get into edit mode and make calculates, it's recalculating and you made a change and you're good to go. Again, the ability to do simple edits like that and again, intact technology. So if that spreadsheet had macros and things like that, it would get all retained despite the fact that it made an edit on the file and then sent or forwarded on back to the laptop or the desktop. Okay, so that's sheet to go. And then finally, just want to quickly show you the presentation part. So again, same UI. I'm just going to open a recently used, uh, hopefully you will be very familiar with this, uh, this file, Documents Go Demo File for WES 2008. And uh, in Slideshow to Go, you, of course, will default to Slide View, but you can get and edit your speaker notes with our premium edition, and you can also out edit your outline if you need to. So here's the slide. It's, it's, it's my presentation that I was just using, right? So, you know, on the way from Connecticut to Florida, on the plane, in the car, at the bar, you know, I use this to go over my speaker notes so that, I'm, you know, make sure I'm ready for this presentation. So I can again key cuts, use Z to zoom, or I can do G to go to a different slide. So let me go just go to slide two to show you. And same thing, if I wanted to make an edit quickly on the road, I could do so by doing bring up the menu, go to edit slide text, and say I want to change intro. Welcome. Get back out, and that change should be reflected for me in my presentation. Again, save it, forward it on an email attachment. Because of intact, you don't have to worry about anything. If the presentation had, you know, uh, like like here had the transitions and all this other stuff, that all gets retained. It doesn't get all messed up. Just